best friends in the world to, to be honest, he makes you look like a liberal at times. <laughs> and, uh, you know, going back and forth with him, but to answer your question, how I found you, eventually I just thought about it and went on to your website, but I kept flipping through the station saying they can't just have a mop everywhere. This is ridiculous. And long so you're a, so you're a, you're a classic red diaper dopa baby lawyer in San Francisco liberal and you like the show. Yeah, yeah. Well, how do you maintain <laughs> being a grown man and an attorney when you're still a, a red diaper dopa baby? How is it possible? Well, let's put it this way. Um, I was raised by a very strong, independent woman, and yet at the same time. My father, Colonel of the United States Air Force. Oh, uh, so you have a thought that you have a thing with your father. You can't have this one. No, actually, that's fact, the exact opposite. I respect the military and what my father did for this country, God, more than anything. You know, I will walk up to anybody I see in uniform. Oh, wait, if you, if you understand what national security issues are, how in the world can you not be alarmed at what Obama's doing in this country? Because it's no different than what Bush was doing. <laughs> well, okay. Well, at least we agree on that. Bush was a diehard anti-military militarist. It's a strange phenomenon. Persecuting our Marines in Haditha for a crime they never committed. And now we have this fellow, Lieutenant Behenna, who I'm trying to defend by raising money for him. You as an attorney, can you help me with this one? Turn on my website and read his story and tell me why this man is facing 15 years in Fort Leavenworth for defending himself in, in Iraq. You know, and I've already read it, and I've gone through the information, and I'll be honest with you. The only thing I can make of it, and what I rest my head at night soundly at times on, is the comment my father made to me once.